How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Isuzu D-Max XTR. It's a pickup truck and I mean, it's even weird saying the word truck because I'm in the UK and this is usually an American thing. But anyway, without further ado, let's check out this car. The 2019 Isuzu D-Max XTR is a car that to me is specialist, is utilitarian if I'm saying that right. It isn't a car for everyone or every road terrain for that matter. Under normal roads, it requires extra care and attention. Off-road, it comes alive, but lacks the power and performance to make it as fun as it could be or something else that I've driven before. When you have a car like the XTR and you want to make it attractive to potential buyers, what do you do? You slap some new model name on it like the XTR and you put all the extra detailing on it and it's good to go. It has that green styling all around the car, like the badge and even the headrest in the car. And when you start up the engine, the multimedia player shows it as well. Besides that, you get in this thing and it's all about going to work or if you like, an adventure. It has all the spaces to put all the work tools you have, but you do compromise on the back pickup slash boot space with the ready-made compartments pre-installed for you, uh, which you can lock your tools in, for example. But Again, I don't really recommend locking your tools in your car overnight anyway, but it's there if you need to do so, you can lock it inside and then close the boot as well and lock it all together, which makes it extra secure. You have some flared wheel arches, heavy duty, chunky 17 inch uh, wheels that looks and feels mean and it's 250 millimeters higher than the regular D-Max. When you get in, you have the side steps to help you with handbars as well, to handlebars to get in as well, to assist you getting in and out of the car. And on the back, you have some fake exhaust silver outline, which you can see. And you have some more green XTR styling underneath with the shock absorber area and all that stuff, the suspension area. One thing I do love about the D-Max XTR is the vis visibility. It doesn't lack at all, and you can easily see everything, uh, even as big as this thing is. And with the mirrors as well, it complements that very well. You can see everything from the side, blind spots, and so on. And for a big car, that's something that's very vital. You also have your reverse camera there as well, which is very important for a big car. You need that to assist you in parking in tight spaces, especially. On the side, everything feels very raw. And in fact, uh, if you take out the Pioneer touchscreen infotainment system in there, it could be a pickup truck ready for the safari, uh, some sort of safari trip. It feels bare boned and uh, yet you have some tech in there like the reverse camera that we talked about. The seven inch infotainment system is there. But you also get a sound system with eight speakers, but I feel like they were subpar, it wasn't that good. Steering wheel controls are there as well to control your music and uh, everything else. Uh, some extra compartments to put things in are there as well on the front and on top of the roof. Sorry, the, the inside roof. I was pleasantly surprised to see a button for the heated seat. Um, and you have a dial for activating different off-roading modes as well. There's no push to start button here, so it's very old school and nothing fancy at all. There's also plenty of leg room and headroom as well, as you'd expect for both the drivers and the passengers at the back. Where it disappoints a little for me is the engine power. So you have a 1.9 litre four cylinder diesel powered engine in there producing 161 brake horsepower and 255 pound per foot in terms of torque. It's very excellent on fuel, don't get me wrong. And I imagine that people that would buy this would only worry about fuel consumption and just getting from A to B. Having said that, it's still powerful enough to tow up to 3,500 kilograms, a maximum payload of 1,136 kilograms. It's cheaper compared to say the Ford Range Raptor and even from a tax and expenses point of view for businesses looking to get a D-Max XDR on their fleet, this is great. On normal roads, it's comfortable on the motorway, it's smooth, it's not bouncy for a pickup truck. Uh, but when you get in, in the city, uh, turning can feel like a chore. You have to pay extra attention to your surroundings, but visibility is great for that. Although I wasn't in short or had the opportunity to take it to, to do some proper off-roading, it handles rough terrain uh, out near Snowdonia where I took it like nothing. The Pirelli Scorpions, which comes as standard added to its grip and higher ground clearance and variable hill descent control uh, makes it very, very stable and very good for off-roading. Anyone who's a professional or experienced in off-roading will be able to pick up how to use this very easily. There's nothing to it, it's very straightforward. Overall, it's a very interesting pickup truck. I quite like it. I like the styling of it. It looks very mean and beefy, uh, but performance is where it's lacking for me. I like a bit of speed, which it doesn't really offer me. Uh, and it takes quite a while to build up speed. And once it builds up speed, you're ready to slow down again. Uh, it doesn't have all the tech, all the bells and whistles that you'd get in like say a Land Rover, for example, or even the Ford Raptor, uh, Range Raptor, but it's still very uh, much focused at the utilitarians. People that will use it for their work purposes, you know, load up all their tools and get from A to B to get work done. So. In that sense, it's fit for purpose and I, I think 
it should be considered if that's what you want to use it for. So that's it for the Isuzu D-Max XTR. Guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. If this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe helps me out a lot and uh, hit the bell notification as well so you still get notified every time I upload a new video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.